Alright guys, so this is Do It Yourself Rojo. So I got this product super clean and as you can see I have some oil stains in my driveway. Um, it gets pretty bad. There's another one, another, there's just quite a few spots on here from doing oil changes on a 2007 GMC Denali. Now it gets worse. These are all just small droplets that have occurred from the, from the um, engine bay where it leaks. So you can see here it's just continuous now. Here I had an incident where the oil filter slipped out of my hand because of all the oil. Uh, it was very slippery and it just rolled down and it made this ugly oil mark on my driveway. So um, we're going to try to see if we can remove this with this product. And the product is super clean. I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to see how it works out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, tr um, I transferred some of the product into a bottle so here's my bottle that's super clean it's uh, fully concentrated no water I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna apply some right now I'm gonna spray it on and then I'm gonna scrub it got a big push broom here so let's see what happens so I'm gonna go ahead and start really adding it on here to see if it will take all these things out I'm gonna scrub it and then I'm gonna show you guys the end results in a moment so hopefully We'll see something different. Hopefully we'll see if this takes care of these oil stains. All right guys, so give me a moment. Let me give it a shot and I'll come back and show you guys the results. All right guys, so right now it's still wet, um, but you can see it did a pretty good job. You remember the oil stains? Oh, my shadow's kind of in the way. But you remember the oil stains were kind of in this area and you can see there it's pretty much just taking out the oil stains out. I'm gonna show you the type of broom I'm using in a moment also that way, just in case if you're wondering what kind of broom I use, I did use a good quality push broom and I'll show you in a moment which one it is. But it's looking good right now. I do need to let it dry to see what it looks like once it's all dry. So it's still wet, so it's kind of hard to tell. All right guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go hit up this other spot, which is this big oil spot right here. We're gonna see how this turns out. Really wanna get this fixed. So this oil spot really needs to go. Look at all this, it looks horrible. All right guys, so if you're wondering, I'm using a Harper. It's a 24 inch multi-surface push broom. These are really good quality push brooms. If you've ever tried them, they're awesome as far as just sweeping or any anything really. So I'm using this, I'm gonna be scrubbing. You can see I have these spots right here. I'm gonna be scrubbing these in a moment trying to see if they they'll break up the the oil and the grease and all that so we'll see how it works out all right guys so i wanted to show you what it looks like i feel like my video quality kind of dropped right now there it is so when you scrub it it should look something like this where it looks like the grease is kind of being lifted it's kind of hard to tell on the video but you could see the grease the oil kind of lifting from the the spot there so we'll see how the rest of this goes but I'm gonna leave it like this for a little bit and see if it actually goes away we'll give it a shot I'm just gonna let it um, air dry let the wind take care of it and then um, see if it needs any water I'll check back with you guys I'm gonna hit up these other stains I'm gonna hit up that oil stain right there all right guys let me see if I can throw in on this so Hopefully it looks better, but hopefully you can see how it's kind of lifting. I just used that push broom to do about half of it. So it seems like it's kind of doing its work. I'm gonna leave it on there. Hopefully it breaks it up pretty good. And then we'll see once I decide to see, give it another try or rinse and hopefully one time is enough. All right guys, so on these, I just scrubbed it and I didn't run water through it. If you could see, the spots are actually are still there. So the super clean didn't really work without hosing it down afterwards. Now, if you look over here, it's actually looking pretty good. Um, let me see if I can get away from that. Get my shadow out of there. So if you could see it's where it's getting dry, those were the spots that I kind of was scrubbing pretty well in a moment ago. So it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm gonna try to shoot, uh, take care of uh, I'm gonna hose down the other section and see if maybe that's it needs that extra water to kind of just push all that grime out so we'll, we'll give it a shot with water and go from there 
All right, guys, so after a few moments, I'm letting this dry, and you can see it's somewhat dry. Um, it's hard to tell whether those are stains or not because it's still a little wet, so I'm going to let this dry a few more minutes and then come back to it. It's nice and sunny today. It's a nice, beautiful day. And then over here, I, I decided to water down that area, and I think it, it was very helpful watering it down, and it's getting there. Now, one thing I thought was very, I was very curious about were these two um, stains that you see right there, there's that black one up on top, and this one right here was actually black. Now it's discolored. It, the black was actually removed from it. I believe this is um, maybe like a berry or some type of fruit, something that just, something organic, I believe, that got stuck. It's not gum. I believe it's something from a plant, something organic, and it got stuck. It got caked on this driveway, and now it looks like it's coming off. I need to probably scrape those off to really clean the driveway, but we'll see um, what's going on. But here's the other stain, and you can see I'm going to have to redo it. I'm going to have to water it down, hose it down, and um, and let's see what happens after that. Hopefully, it'll break it up, but I'm going to re I'm gonna scrub it again, and this time I'm actually going to hose it down, so we'll see what happens to it. It seems like water is needed when it comes to this. We need to wash it away, I guess. All right, guys, so I'm back, and take a look. The stains are actually are still there. So it did bring them down. Uh, it's not as dark as before, so I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna try to do a second attempt at this and see how it works out. But you can see the stains did come back. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna give it a second shot. I'm gonna actually take a look at the directions in the back of the bottle too to see what it says if I miss something. All right guys, so reading the directions again. So it does say to let it, let it soak in. Um, so basically pre-soak the area so I'm gonna pre-soak it says do not let it dry so I'm gonna allow it to go ahead and see if it breaks up the, the oil the grease in there so I'm gonna give it a few moments it does you know I'm gonna scrub and then it does say to rinse thoroughly so I'm gonna give this another shot see how it goes with this hopefully it'll, it'll break it up we'll, we'll see we'll give it another shot hopefully this time uh, I'll be better at it all right guys so I want to give you a follow-up um, it's hard to see but they're the stains are still there, but they're very light now They're down there on the floor and then here was the big stain as you can see it's getting better So there's my my assistant There's my assistant So look at that. So it is getting better So it seems like you do have to pre soak the stains give it a chance to kind of do its work and then start to scrub Like I said here was the big oil stain if you remember and it's starting to dry out but you can see it's it's pretty much gone so i'm i'm happy with the super clean i think i'm gonna have to scrub these these uh small marks down here to really get these out these uh these stains are still there they're very light like i said not very noticeable i'm pretty sure they'll go away but um i want to make sure they really go away but look at that it cleaned out the driveway so i'm really happy now coming back here um this is the other air location of the other stains and you can see it's getting better, but it still needs to dry it out and then take a look at it and see how it looks, okay? But it looks starting to look really, really good. All right, guys. Take a look at that. Okay. I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. DIY Rojo. We'll have to do, maybe we'll do a part two to see if these light stains come out. All right, guys. Checking out. See you.